opening quite possibly the craziest mystery boxes we've ever opened on the channel. And to be honest, I don't even think I'm ready for this. Now let's see if we get a vintage pack on our first one. Oh my god! Oh, we did it on the first one! I can't believe we're already opening a Wizards of Coast pack up right now. I was looking around to see what the card is. I'm really nervous to see what the card is. Oh my god! What is this? I don't even understand how this is possible. Ah, what is this? No, 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 no. Oh my god, is it? It is! <laughs> no shot that we just got! Oh my god. These are the brand new Iconic Mystery Box 2.0. It seems they've taken the original box and made them that much better. Because inside of each of these, you have a 1 in 5 shot at a vintage old school booster pack. But not only that, there's also a graded card and the possibility to get a god box. Apparently the god boxes are seated 1 in every 50 of these. And inside you'll find 4 vintage packs plus a graded first edition base set card. Today I have 15 of these which cost around $140 each. So with thousands of dollars of mystery boxes on the table, today we're gonna find out if it's all worth it or not. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had some absolutely crazy videos opening iconic mystery boxes over the last year or so, and they always seem to come out with new products. This one in particular goes back to the original box, but it seems to be an updated version, and honestly, it looks pretty ridiculous. I think I've said everything that can be said about this, and I think the, the next thing we can do, well, the only thing we can do at this point is to open this box up and see exactly what we get inside. And before I reveal what's in our first box, I wanted to let you know that I'm giving away one sealed Charizard mystery box to one subscriber. These boxes go for around $180 each, so make sure you enter today's giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I'm really genuinely excited for these things, man. They're, they're, you never know what to expect, but hopefully it gets kind of crazy. But let's see, our first... Item, it's gonna be an evolution booster pack. All right, it's a good start. So I'm thinking that these boxes aren't just gonna be stuffed with a bunch of sword and shield sets. I, I don't know, I could be wrong, but for the price of almost $150, there's probably gonna be some, some different like sets from different generations. So let's get it going here with our first booster pack. Oh, start off with a secret rare. Okay, that's a good sign. I bet you there's gonna be a, a secret Pikachu behind here. Whenever I have this, it's always, oh, I was wrong. Okay, I take that back. I'm sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that it was going to be back there. Charmander Reverse Solid. That's, that's pretty good. Into a Nido King Hollow Pull. Not bad at all. Okay, so it's four packs, right? Four booster. Okay, four booster packs. Got it. And then one in five containing vintage packs. I don't know if that's going to be extra on top of that or if it's going to be one of the four. And then you get a graded card dated from 1995 to 2012. Okay, that's, that's solid. All right, next thing or next pack, I should say, is going to be Cosmic Eclipse. Solid set from the Sun and Moon era. All right, this is a solid set from the Sun and Moon era as well. We're getting some good sets in here so far anyway. Oh, that's a green code card. Okay, that's probably going to be nothing, but... We're just going to go straight through it. Mimikyu and a non holo Okay. Now remember, I always want to make this very clear. Whenever you open any kind of mystery pack or box or whatever, there's always a big risk, right? Especially with things like these where I think you can have a lot less value than what you pay. But sometimes you can have about the same or you can have even more. So it's just a, it's just, it's a risk, right? Uh, but here we go. Next item. Ooh, it's Evolving Skies. All right, we'll take it. All right, our first box so far. We're at around $40 in value. But remember, there's still one more pack, which could be a vintage one. And then we also are going to have a graded um, card that we get in here as well, which is going to be an old school card. So that'll be interesting. I have no idea what to expect on those. But, dude, these are always exciting to open up, I got to say. Uh, we got Single Strike Scroll, and then we got a hollow out of that one. All right, let's see if we get a vintage pack on our first one. It's a 1 in 5, so we got about a 20% shot here. Oh, my God! I was on the first! No, we did it on the first one! Come on! What? <laughs> let's go, baby! Oh my god! Yes! And, we, and it's Wizards of the Coast! Oh my god. I can't believe we're already opening a Wizards of the Coast pack up right now. Okay, that's not even the last thing in here because there should still be a graded card. So, I guess we're opening this up. This is a first edition jungle booster pack and this one's definitely, we definitely got our value out of this box already. More than our value. <laughs> Just this pack alone is more than the value right there. Alright, we got super lucky on our first one here. So let's go. So. If we get the odds, I think, honestly, we should have, like, three or four boxes that have a vintage pack in it. And then, like, we do have the shot at the God Pack. All right, let's go. So we're going to go three from the back on this one, and let's just run it. Let's see what happens. All right, we got a Persian first edition jungle. So Butterfree. Okay, the non-error version. This is my favorite uncommon in, jun in jungle. We got a Licket Tongue. So um, we have a one and three shot of the hollow here as well. Paris, we got a Spiro, and their first edition. It's not even the unlimited... We got Goldeen. We got first edition Pikachu in here too. Let's go. 
All right, we got Bellsprout. We got a Rhyhorn. Oh, we do hit the hollow. Wiggly Tuff first and Chuckle. Let's freaking go, baby. All right, what else can we possibly get from this thing? Um, it's a graded card. It's PSA. The back looks pretty nice. It does have a little bit. Let's flip it around and see what the card is. I'm really nervous to see what the card is. Oh, my God. <laughs> What is this? What is this right now, bro? Stop! Oh my god! I'm. This is our first box. A Neo Genesis Lugia Hollow. No, no. What is the grade gonna? No. It doesn't even matter what the grade is on this at this point, dude. It looks good. There's no. There's no. Oh my god. Okay. Whew. Okay, we're gonna reveal it. We're gonna reveal it. Three, two, one. Oh! I don't even understand how this is possible right now. Like, I genuinely don't get it. This is unreal. This is a Neo Genesis Lugia in a PSA 8. Absolutely crushed it on our first one. Bro, oh my god. I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I said I didn't know if I was ready for this. And I I, I know I'm, I know I wasn't ready for this. That's the first box, so that's got to be one of the luckiest boxes I feel like that you could ever get. Besides the god box, right? Maybe we just stop while we're ahead. <laughs> just take that and just we're done. But no, we're gonna we're gonna go through all of them. So let's see what this next box has in store for us right now. <sighs> so remember, like we had we have 15 of them, so I think like three to four probably would be our odds. Because iconic has always been like spot on with their odds. So um, like yeah, I, I feel like probably three or four of these will probably have in this pack, which is kind of crazy. But our first one up, okay. So we have an evolving skies to start this one off. Rayquaza artwork on here. <laughs> Bro, what the heck is happening? Oh my god. There's a reason why I keep going back to these things and keep opening them up. Like, just because they always have different products. They always seem to be spot on with it. They're, they're transparent about it, which is cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, you don't see that often, really, at all. Seismitoad. <laughs> okay, let's keep it going. Oh, oh! <laughs> yes! Let's go, dude! <laughs> I don't know if this video is coming out after... A certain video that I did, but you'll know if this video is out after that one. That's all I'm gonna say. Flash fire. That's all I'm gonna say because I don't know what order these. Sometimes my videos, sometimes ones will come out like before. This is a flash fire booster bag, okay? Sometimes videos will come out before a certain one, even though I filmed it before that one. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All right, flash fire. <sighs> Let's get a Charizard. Come on, we need a Charizard from this. Milt egg, graveler. Some's telling me that we're gonna get lucky. Flip bay bay, dust skull. Stunky Pidgey Pyroar. Oh, non hollow. No way. Man, let's keep going. What's this? Oh, Team Up, Team Up, dude. Team Up is such a good set, too. Team Up is such a good set to open up. Oh my god, this might be the best Sun and Moon era set. Let me know what you guys think. It might be. It might be. It's so good. There's so many good cards in it, and it's so hard to get. All right, Magic Card, Pucciana. Bro, what is happening? Bronzor, Tentacool, and a Mimikyu. I'm gonna assume if there's a vintage pack, it's always gonna be the last one. So, here goes nothing. Oh, okay. It looks like, I think this is Vivid. It's Vivid Voltage, so it does not look like we got one in here. Okay, Vivid Voltage. Whew. Okay. Man, that's crazy. Flash Fire in this is fire. So, that's the thing. Like, yeah. I know you're gonna get Sword and Shield sets, but again, since this is such a, you know, a high price, uh, I, would, I would assume that they wouldn't do just four Sword and Shield sets. I mean, that... It wouldn't make any sense. I, I don't know, though. This is only our second box. Jolteon. But as you can see, it, it's still a risk, right? So um, it's definitely a lot different than the first one. We got a PSA graded card. It's definitely a Japanese card. Let's flip it over. Oh, my God. What is that pack? Wait, what is that pattern? Oh, my God. Wait, I got to take this out of the sleeve so we can actually see it better. What? Dude, what is this? This is RCS 2009 Japanese level x from the grass and fire deck first dude i've never seen this so this is like the rcs subset card that we have in um platinum right and and uh whoa okay that looks so crazy it looks so good it actually looks like i don't want to jump the gun on this but dude this looks like it might be a 10 it's definitely a nine bare minimum oh it is a nine dude that is so beautiful I'm actually kind of blown away. I need to look into these cards. That looks so amazing. Wow. I would have thought this card is worth a lot more than $60 just based off of how crazy it is and how old it is. But, dude, there's, like, a ton of Pokemon cards out there that you can get, like, mint graded cards. 
for like really great prices. This is box number three. Now, if you guys are enjoying the video, as always, just smash the like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying this specific piece of content and the possibility of doing more videos similar to this is always up in the air. Uh, but when, when I see that people are liking the video, it definitely lets me know like, okay, we could do something like this similar again. But anyway, uh, okay, let's start off with our third box. First pack, I think this is a Unified Minds. Ooh, it's actually Celestial Storm, solid. So yeah, that last, the second box was definitely way less value than the first box, but that's just, you know, it's just how it is. But actually it wasn't bad, it really wasn't bad at all. It was actually good. Uh, four from the back on this. All right, Sun and Moon era. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, can we get something wild? Honestly, these are always a crazy ride. You never know what to expect. I, I never genuinely know what to expect. Deoxys Hollow, bro, that's fire! It's like one of the coolest hollows I think I've seen from Sun and Moon era. Next up, we do have another Evolving Skies, but we're getting some nice sets from this, the Sword and Shield era. I mean, Evolving Skies, if you saw my top 10 video, or not top 10, top 5 video, of my favorite cards from the Sword and Shield era. Make sure you check out that one. We have Full Face Guard, Love Disc. We got a Hippo, Psyduck, Jump Up, Seismitoad. All right, let's see if we get pack number three now. Pack number three is going to be a Cosmic Eclipse. Yep, Cosmic Eclipse on this one. Okay, let's see what we do. Um, all right, the code card's facing the other way on here. Man, man, I don't even know what to say. It's just too crazy sometimes. All right, Cricket Top. We got a Woobat, a Ducklet, Swirlix. Go it and a Sun Flora. Okay, uh, we have another booster pack. What is it? Oh, it, it's Shining Peaks. I knew it right from the back of this one. All right, let's see what we got. So yeah, the first box was definitely the best. I don't know what the graded card's gonna be in here, but the first box was the best by far so so far anyway. Second one was definitely a lot less than the third one. Seems to be a lot less than that one too, but it's just how it goes. It's just a huge difference in, in what you get. You never know. Weasel and a Zaru. But like as long as the company is honest and transparent and everything, that's all you can ask for, honestly. Alright. Are we ready? Oh my god. No. It's a top sun card. It's a blue back top sun card. What is it gonna be? Oh my god. This is like the oldest Pokemon cards that you could possibly get. And it's a slow bro blue back! And it actually looks clean. Dude, this looks like a 9 or a 10 to me. An 8? Okay, it actually got an 8. Actually, oh, that's honestly really good for an old card like this. We're already on box number 4. Alright, this one feels good for some reason. Let's see what happens. Box number 4. Man. Okay, so let's get this off. I like to have this little seal on here. Well, it's on top and bottom. Top and bottom has this special little little seal here. Okay. I'm not talking about the Pokemon. We got Flashfire started off! Hi, Roar! We got another shot. It's like this. It's like... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. We have another chance here. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying anything because I still don't know as of recording this if that video is before this one or not. But I'm not saying anything because I don't want to spoil anything. All right. Flashfire! Yes! <laughs> Flashfire is the coolest X and Y set that we've opened up in this video for sure. It's the most expensive as well. Magnetic Storm. I just want to pull a Charizard from this set. That's all I want. It's Charizard. Literally, the set is all about Charizard. Charizard, Charizard, Charizard. All right, Stunky. Shinx, reverse. That's a cool card. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't with Flashfire. What a pack. I mean, Flashfire. It's just a set in general. Um, Guardians Rising. Okay. Guardians Rising is probably... Mm, it's definitely... I think it's the cheapest besides... Well, besides Sun and Moon base, it might be the cheapest set from the uh, Sun and Moon era. So, if you ever want to open Sun and Moon... And you're looking for like the least expensive packs just to get like older packs because this is what 2017. This is probably like the set to go for. There's still some nice pulls in it. Gudra Hollow. We went from Flash Fire to Guardians Rising to Evolving Skies. That's fine. Honestly, taking Evolving. Oh, wait, I think I see the last pack there. Can you guys tell what it is? Because I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. Man, that first box we started off. We got spoiled on the first box. I don't know. <laughs> we got spoiled on the first box so bad. We got Bergmite, Ursarig, and a Ludicolo. Actually, I can't tell exactly, but it's either Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance. Brilliant Stars it is. We'll take it. Still one of my favorites. Ooh, I saw the code. Oh, wait, there's something in there. There's something in here. I think it's going to be in the trainer gallery. Ready? Watch this. There's something good in the trainer gallery. There's something good in the trainer gallery. Carablast. Watch, there's something here. Beam QV, but not in the trainer gallery, and it wasn't the code card that normally has hits. Pokemon be messing up on some stuff a lot. Here. Okay, so that was the last pack, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we have our graded card here, which I guess could be anything. It looks really good on the back. It looks like a 9 on the back, probably, or an 8. No, there's some stuff up there. Probably like an 8 on the back. 
Gyarados base set. Oh, one of my favorites. Okay. Come on, Gyarados. This is probably an 8 or a 9, I'm going to guess. I think it's an 8. And it is a near mint 8. I actually completely forgot about the God Packs. If we could get one today, that'd be wild. Like, what? what is the odds of us getting? We have 15. There's 50. 15. We got, like, about, what, like a 30% shot of getting a God Pack? That's actually not bad. Uh, oh, my God. Imagine if we got one. There's no... I don't know. But, yeah, we do have a decent shot. We got, like, a 30% 30, 30 shot. Something like that. The math people are going to tell me that my, my calculations are off. It's just... Yeah. I, I, it's probably off a little bit. But it's probably around that. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> this one. We got... Oh, it's going to be... I already know. It's going to be Burning Shadows. And it is... I can tell from the back. I'm going to try to guess on all these. Burning Shadows right here. Can we get the Rainbow Charizard? Ooh. Okay. That means we have a shot. We got a shot at a Rainbow Charizard. If, imagine on one pack. I don't want pack, but but Burning Shadows is the worst quality. The backs of the card. Well, actually, that's not bad. Let's just see what happens on the right. Well, this are, these are off center. Uh, Ludic Lu Lucario. Why did I say Ludicolo? Lucario. Ooh, Tapu Fene GX. All right, so this is our fifth, right? So we're, we're pretty much spot on with the odds of one in five at the moment, which is cool. You like to see that, but obviously, it's another Burning Shadows. Oh, it's Ultra Prism this time. Ultra Prism. Okay. This is a solid set. Um, this has the most valuable for our trainer card, I believe. Um, let's see if we can get it. Probably not. Let's see. Floatzel. I like the odds here, though. Turtwig, Stunky. Giratina, Prism card. Let's go. And a Sand Slash. Let's keep it rolling. Next up, it's going to be Evolving Skies. All right. Can we get another box that was like that first one? That first one was just so ridiculous. We had a first Ed Jungle Pack, and we had a, Lug a, a Lugia Neo Genesis. I think PSA 8 is a sweet spot for, like, quality of card condition to, like, price. Uh, Slack off. The Moga. All right. Value is pretty low so far in this one. Can we make up for it? What is this? Oh, my God. Yes. We're going in, baby. Imagine we got a God pack within a God. A God pack within a God box or something like that. So this is VMAX Climax. And we're starting off with the Fire Energy. We got Charmander in there. Let's see if we get some craziness. Come on. Let's see if we get some craziness in here. We got a hollow, another hollow, and, an, and a regular V. Oh, nice. We got the character rare right behind it, bayonet. I actually really like the texture on this. A little bit different than English. All right, now it comes down to our final item in this box, and it's a graded card. It's a Japanese card. It's an old school Japanese card. It says Pocket Monster. I remember these as a kid, man. It's so crazy. Espeon. Nice. This is the Black Star promo, right? Oh, my goodness. Uh, wait, no, it's not. Why does it say promo on there? This is not a promo. This is from, wait. Uh, actually, wait. I don't know, actually. <laughs> it has a Neo Discovery there. Um, okay, let's see what we got, though. It looks clean. This might be a 10, honestly. Definitely at least a 9. It is a 9. Wow. Oh, that's right. Okay, this is from the Premium File. Okay, got it. Those binder things. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. But we did get our 1 in, one in 5 on that. So far, these have been pretty amazing. Um, just based off of, like, the, like, you just... I don't know. It's just like I love not knowing what to expect. Like I have no idea what to expect pack-wise, card-wise, anything like that. But let's see. We're going to move on to I think it's number 6. So let's see if we, we can get those odds back and get a vintage pack out of this this sixth one here. Let's go. All right, so we got a Cosmic Eclipse pack on the first box. And yes, I could tell from the back. I could just Oh my god, there's something good in here. Yo, this might be the best pull today. What is it? Oh my god, dude, what's this going to be? It looks so good. It looks like it's something crazy. It looks like it's something crazy. Oh, my God. The Guzma. And you know what's crazy about this, actually? They were doing these um, tag team cards, like, before they were, like, with the actual trainers. Like, I think we need more trainer tag team type cards in the new era of Pokemon. What do you guys think? All right. I believe we're on box six still. We're definitely on box six. Losing my train of thought here. But we got Guardians Rising. Okay. Guardians Rising. Not the craziest set, but let's see if we get something out of here. Salazzle Dazzle. Nothing on that one. Next pack up. What is this? I can't not tell from the back what this one is. Oh, okay. They got Scarlet and Violet. Japanese. Well, this one's actually Scarlet. Okay, okay. That's, that's all right. We'll take that. We'll take that. Get a little Scarlet action in here. Why not? Let's see. See if we get something. Nothing. All right. And our next item is going to be an Evolving Skies. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right see what we get here and then we're gonna see what our graded card is we have a tropius and what do we have here 
as our graded card. Oh, dang! I just graded this. I just graded one of these. They're really hard to grade. Uh, because they were like in a tin on top and yeah, these are hard to grade. I'd be surprised if this is better than like a seven or an eight. It's an eight, we'll take it. All right guys, I'm still feeling confident about these boxes right now. I know what I've seen before come out of some of these ridiculous boxes that we've opened up. And this one, I feel like this might be the one. All right, so this is, yes, number eight, right? We're on the eighth one. Let's see if we can get back. And we have an Ultra Prism again to start this one off. All right, that one's a green code card, so I'm gonna go straight through it. Where am I? What? There's something back there. What? In a green code card? In a green code card! Still Valley GX! Oh, see, it's a green code card. How weird is that? We've had that happen like two or three times today already. All right, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Next pack. Oh, is this, this is XY bait? No, Ancient Origins. Primal Clash, what am I talking about? Primal Clash, Primal Clash, that's solid. X and Y, Primal Clash. All right, Primal Clash, this is the first. We haven't pulled any Primal Clash packs out of these boxes, so that's cool to see. Getting something different here. Let's go. Okay, green and white code card. Very nice. That's that's a good chance, but at this point, they've messed up so many times on the code cards that I don't really know what to expect anymore. Combuskin, because even the cards that normally don't have pulls, we got them. Flygon! Oh, we got a hollow. Nice. And we have an Evolving Skies booster. Was that the last one, or is there one more after this? I can't even remember. Is there one more after this? I don't even know. I can't I can't even remember. All right, four from the back. Let's see what we got. Lightning Energy, Swoobat, Nombre. Sita. We got a Fletch thing and a Wishy Washy. So there is one more pack, and it is Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars. We got the RCS Brilliant Stars on that one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not the craziest packs, but again, this is what we do. This this is the risk that we take here. We got Fire Energy, and we can still have a nice great card, though. Those have varied so much. Shroomish and a Moltres regular hollow. Okay. Are we ready? Our graded card is going to be a PSA graded card. Back actually looks pretty nice. That could be a 10 back. Nope, no, I lied. Wait, 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 no, no, I lied, I lied. See that all there, there? Probably like an eight back. But that means it could be an old card. It's a first ed base? I don't even care that it's a Weedle, bro. I don't even care, it's a first edition base set. Dang, okay. Let's see what we get in the grade. Even like an eight or nine would be cool. An eight will take it. All right, I got a feel, oh, if I can cut that, there we go. I got a feeling that something's gotta be coming, something crazy's gotta be coming up soon. Like, there has to be something crazy. Possibly in this box, let's see. Man, okay, we, we actually got so many of these boxes right now open. Um, all right, next up is going to be, is it Burning Shadows? It's Burning Shadows, man. Like, the dream with Burning Shadows is just to open up one pack and get something wild. Just one single pack. Oh, my God, this one's definitely a bad print run. Look at that. That's your typical Burning Shadows print run. Just They were just, like, chopping them up. Blades are dull, and they're just like, nah, we're just going to just completely mess these up off-center, like, everything. <laughs> Meow stick. The fact that you pull Rainbow Charizard out of that is kind of crazy. All right, next up we have... This is a Guardians Rising. All right, Guardians Rising. Show us the goods. Green and white code card. Nice. We're going to go four on this. We got two more packs in here, and then we have the Vintage Pack, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it'll be one of those two. Or maybe it won't be in here at all. But champ. All right, let's see. Let's see. Next up we have... We got an Evolving Skies. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, Evolving Skies. We have a boost shake, our first gold card of the video. Not the craziest gold card, I'm not going to lie, but it's a boost shake, so we'll take a little boost. And our last pack. Oh, it's going to be a scarlet pack. Okay. From scarlet and violet. We have the scarlet pack, Japanese, and it's going to be... We actually do have something. Ooh, nice. I love what they do with these EX cards. But I pulled this card a bunch of times by now, so I'm kind of already over it. <laughs> All right, but our graded card. Is it another? Really? No way. A Top Sun blue back again? What could this one be? Oh, my boy, Scyther. Okay, maybe an 8 or a 9. And it's a near mint 8. We'll take it. All right, now remember, vintage pack, 1 in 5. We're on box number 10. We've had one so far. So, we're going to go spot on with the odds right now. Let's see if we can get one out of box number 10. Let's make it happen right now. Come on. I know we can make it happen. All right, are we ready? Let's see what we start off with here. Pack number 1 is going to be... An Ultra Prism. I actually want to get something good from Ultra Prism. I just want to get something nice from Ultra Prism. Um, ooh, that card's messed up. Okay, it doesn't matter, though. It's not the rare. Let's see what we get. I just want to get something pretty solid from Ultra Prism. We got... Tapulele! 
Oh, Dustbane Necrozma GX, full art hit. All right, starting off this box with a banger. Continuing on to our next pack, we have, it's going to be Cosmic. Yep, Cosmic Eclipse on our next pack. You know what? Let's just go straight through the Cosmic. We had Lucky on the co the other Cosmic pack. We got a Floor just regular Hollow. Anyway, next booster pack. Oh, my God. We're going back. Yes. <laughs> VMAX Climax. Let's go. Oh, the dream. All right, here we go. The dream is to get some wild stuff from this set, uh, which you can. Zarude, Octillery, Send a Scorch. All right. Next up, it's going to be Evolving Skies. All right. Evolving Skies it is. Let's see what we got. Lily Gant, non hollow. A graded card, Japanese. Let's just reveal it all at once. Three, two, one. Oh, a Firo first edition. Oh, this is the Versus series that we didn't get in English. That's actually kind of fire. Faulkner's Firo right there. That, man, I wish we got this set in English. Box number 11. All right, let's see what happens here. Remember, we still have a chance at the God Pack, which uh, would be nice. It would be pretty nice. It would be pretty insane. Come on. Here we go. Why is this not? There we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Gotta, gotta be having something crazy coming up. Gotta be having something crazy coming up soon. I know I keep saying it. <laughs> all right, all right. So there's a code card out. That's going to be Cosmic Eclipse, which is still a solid set from the Sun and Moon. Go straight through here. Oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Wow. That's, like, probably one of the best packs that we've opened today. Alolan Persia GX Rainbow and the Piplup. I don't know last time I opened a Cosmic Eclipse pack and got two hits in one. Oh, again? Okay. I'll take another chance. Here we go. Ready? Let's see what we got. We got the water energy. So many cards in this. We got B drill. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We got a character rare. Are we ready? It's going to be Brilliant Stars. Knew it. Brilliant Stars. Okay. That one had the white borders. Let's see if it actually... Bro, what is wrong with these Brilliant Stars packs? That is a no-hit code card. And that's again. We did it. We got only, I don't know. Sometimes they mess up bad. That's fine. I'll take hits in packs that don't actually... Ah! What is this? No, 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 no. Oh my God, is it? It is, yo! <laughs> no shot that we just got it. Oh my God. I did not expect to pull that. No way. Wait, 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 wait. And it's the variant version? I, I can't believe it, but we're going on the hunt for the OG himself.